Question 19 is a multiplication question. It's a non-calculator paper. I'm going to show you several different ways of doing this. Do look at them all. Decide which one's the most comfortable for you. Okay, the first one. Actually, I, why don't I draw them, but why don't I do them beside each other if I can? Uh, I think I'm going to show you four ways. One, two, three, four. Okay, now you've got the whole space to do it one way, so my right is going to be small. The first way I would probably do it is I would forget about the decimal point and I might go for the 183 multiplied by 47, that sort of column algorithm, if you can remember that. Now, 7 times 3 is 21, okay, so that's one unit and two, two tens, okay. 7 times 8 is 56, and you, you've got that 2 there, so it's 58. Put down the 8 tens and carry the 5 hundreds. And 7 times 1 is 7, add the 5 uh, hundreds, which is 1200. Then you put down the 0, and you do 4 times 3 is 12. Um, put down the 2 uh, and carry the 1 here. 4 times 8 is 32, uh, add the 1 is 33, put down the 3, carry the 3. 4 times 1 is 4, add the 7, uh, add the 3, which is 7, and then you add them up in the column. 1, 0, 2 and 8 is 0 and 1. 1 and 3 is 4, add 6, sorry, add 2 is 6, and 7 and 1 is 8. Now, this answer was 183 multiplied by 47, which is 100 times bigger than what you want. So you make this 100 times smaller, it would be 86.01. Now, I don't like that method. I think it's, it's quite confusing, quite difficult to get my head around. I might go for a grid method alternatively. So, we've got 183 is 183. Okay. Multiplied by 40 and 7. 40 and 7. We might go for that method there. Right. Okay. You could do 4 times 1 is 4. And... We've got three zeros, so it's four and one, two, three zeros. Four times eight is thirty-two, and you've got two zeros, so three, two, zero, zero. Four times three is twelve, and you've got one zero, so it's one hundred and twenty. Seven times uh, one is seven, you've got two zeros, it's seven hundred. Seven times eight is fifty-six, you've got one zero, five hundred and sixty, and seven times three is twenty-one. Now it would be a case of adding these up. You can add them up across or down. Let's add them up or down. Let's say that's 4,700 plus 3,760 plus 141. And now you've got to add these up somehow. Um, let's add these two together first. Uh, so adding 40 would be 3,800. Uh, add 100, 3,900 and add the one. So 3,000. 901 and you're adding 4,700, uh, 4, you add those two together and you get yourself 8,601 as you did before. It's 100 times bigger than what you want, so it's 86.01. That's another way of doing it. Okay, some people use uh, a lattice method. Okay, the lattice method. So we'd have along the top 1.83. And we'd have along the side 47. Okay, so let's just draw our boxes for that. We'll draw some boxes here. As follows. And then what we're going to draw is we're going to draw some diagonal lines. Okay. So the diagonal lines go as follows. Okay, and what we do is we say that three times four is 12. So put the one there and the two there. We say that three times seven is 21, put the two there and the one there. We say that eight times four is 32, put the three there and the two there. We say that eight times seven is 56, put the five there and the six there. We say four times one is equal to 4, so 0 and 4, and we say that 7 times 1 is equal to 7, so 0 and 7. And then from the bottom one, we're going to add uh, along the diagonal. So this one here just adds to 1. 2 at 2 is 4, 
add 6 is equal to 10, so put down the 0 and carry the 1 up here. 1 and 1 is 2, add 2 is 4, add 5 is 9, and 9 add 6 is e uh, 9 add 7 is equal to 16, so put down the 6 and carry the 1 up here. 1 and 3 is 4, add 4 is 8, add 0 is simply 8, and you've got a 0 here. Now where does the decimal point come? Well, the decimal point was actually here, and there is a decimal after 47, and where they meet, here and here, so they meet there and there, so you follow this line here and you put your decimal point there, 86.01, and that's your answer. Now the last one I'm going to show you, perhaps this is a, a, a bit tricky, but if I was doing 1.83 times 47, especially if I was out and about and I didn't have my phone or anything, I would actually do 1.83 times 50 in my head. Okay, that's what I would be thinking. That's easier. 50 is a more friendly number than 47. Even more friendly than that is 1.83 times 100, which will be double that answer, okay, because 50 is half of 100. So 1.83 times 100 is clearly equal to 183. So 1.83 times 50 must be half of this, and a half of 180 is 90, and a half of 3 is 1.5. Okay, so it would be equal to 91.5. Now that is equal to this here. So 1.83 times 50 is equal to 91.5. Now I want 47 1.83s. So what I could do is I could do 3 times 1.83, okay, if you wanted to do that. Um, now I can do this pretty quickly in my head because three times two, if, if it was two, three times two is six, and I'm taking away three lots of 17. Now three lots of 17 is equal to 51. So this is gonna be equal to 1.49. Uh, um, and if I, Sorry, uh, not 1.49, uh, it was equal to 5.49. Okay, and if I take these away from each other, I get myself again 86.01. Now that's quite a complicated way, that's using number sense and a lot of higher order thinking. So you may like that, you may hate that. Uh, and these are the other ways of doing it. Preferably, I would say that the easiest is one of these two options here.